So recently, I've been seeing people utilize Facebook Marketplace to dropship products. Now, for someone who's been in the dropshipping space for over three and a half years, such as myself, I find this pretty interesting. And this is because I myself, other dropshippers out there, and perhaps even you, utilize Shopify to actually build and host a website. Now you're typically driving traffic to this website and for people to actually buy your product. As you already may be familiar with, I utilize Facebook's advertising platform to drive traffic to my website. Whereas with Facebook Marketplace, there's no upfront cost, advertising cost, or listing cost. And therefore in this video, I'm going to be dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace for 24 hours to see what kind of results we can actually attain. Now before we do move forward into the video ladies and gentlemen make sure you guys do get your good deed of the day out and done with and drop a huge like on this video and while you're at it make sure you guys are subscribed with that post notification bell turned on so you guys are updated with all recent videos and without any further ado let's drop ship some products on Facebook marketplace so for most of the videos I have seen of people dropshipping through Facebook Marketplace, I noticed that they are using Walmart to source their products. And my guessing is because Walmart has relatively cheap prices, great deals, especially during the holidays, which is when I'm filming this video. One thing you also want to keep in mind that I learned is try and list products that are mid ticket because usually when these items do get shipped from walmart.com, they do not contain additional invoices or materials. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to make sure your customer, the person who buys your product, does not know the product is coming from Walmart because that's the main purpose of drop shipping. You're essentially sourcing the product from here and marking it up and selling it. So essentially you can sell anything on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, people are literally searching of the most bizarre things. So it's not like one thing works better over the other. The first niche or niche that comes into my mind is fitness and wellness, especially because people are not fully comfortable to go to gyms. And more in fact, a lot of gyms do operate at minimal capacity. So people are oftentimes searching for gym, wellness, and other fitness products. Let's go with something that's more broad and more mass approachable so we can do something like workout bench again I think that's something that people are constantly looking for I even have one in my basement at my apartment after you do get your search results you want to narrow down by two filters that includes two-day delivery to ensure it doesn't take weeks and weeks to get to that customer because you're gonna end up getting chargebacks disputes, refunds, and things are not going to be pretty. And you wanna make sure the item actually has at least a four star customer rating. So I guess we got pretty lucky and we can say this one has 164 reviews, averaging four stars, and it is $69.99. And again, it does have two day delivery because that is the filter we applied. Seems like a nice adjustable quality exercise bench to me, which is what we are looking for. What you also wanna do is see what kind of pictures you can actually utilize for your listing. So we definitely want to take this first stock picture right here to make sure that is the front facing picture, the main picture. <laughs> Hold on. Is this even a real person, guys? You tell me if this is a real person. I can't tell if it's a real person or like a mannequin. It seems like it's a real person because they have multiple shots and multiple angles. I have no idea, guys. But anyway, all these other pictures seem like you can't really utilize them for your listing because it just doesn't make sense. You want it of actually just a product. So it seems like we're only dealing with the first picture right here, which I think is okay. Personally, I think we're fine only using this picture. At the end of the day, it is a pretty self-explanatory product. Doesn't need a lot of unfolding, a lot of explanation. Almost everyone knows what a exercise bench is if they're actually searching for it. Shows everything nice and clearly. And yeah, I think we're good to go for this. So after adding to car and filling out all the subsequent details, now keep in mind, I do live in the United States. So this will be available to anyone in the United States for purchase. After that, you can see the delivery is absolutely free and it's two days, like I mentioned. The total comes out to be $74.63 with tax. I'm thinking we can mark this product up anywhere between 85 and 100 bucks. Yes, the margins aren't that much as traditional dropshipping. In terms of marking that product up, usually in traditional 
drop shipping, you want to mark up a product at least 2.5 X its cost price per unit. But you also have to keep in mind that there is no advertising cost, transaction fees and listing fees on Facebook marketplace. So obviously you're not going to buy the product just yet until you actually have a confirmed customer through Facebook marketplace that pays you. This is just to essentially see how much our total price is going to be. And we notice it's going to be $75. Afterwards, we want to go to good old Facebook and go to marketplace and go right here and press create new listing. We are going to do item for sale since it is a product that we are selling. So just to speed things up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to fill in all the information about this product and I'll show you how the final preview comes out to be for the listing. And we are finally done with the listing. As you can see, we have the description, which is very important because that is going to help us sell the product. You can see I got a little creative here. I added my own touch. It says brand new and never opened. First come, first serve free shipping, purchase with buy now button. So it is more direct to the potential customer. And you can see I chose or I got most of this description from the actual website, as you can see right here. Uh, it basically goes over the main features and benefits. This kind of gives us a little bit of an introduction as to what the product is. Integrated leg lockdown, explaining what that is and what it does. Multi-position bench, four roll leg lockdown, comfortable seat, and we have our specifications explaining the weight limit and the dimensions to make sure people are choosing the right one. Oh, and before I forget, I did reconfine the title of the listing and decided to call it adjustable exercise bench on Walmart. It was just super silly and was way too long. I decided to have the price at $85 category. It is household condition, brand new or new. I decided to leave the brand name of the product out. That's kind of optional. I recommend not doing so because then people can actually search and see how much it is costing on Amazon, Walmart, eBay, so on and so forth. And the color is primarily black. So that's why I have black. Wait a second, I was actually able to confine the category down to specifically exercise benches and wedges. You wanna make sure you select something that is very, very specific. Bear with me, it's my first time using Facebook Marketplace in terms of dropshipping products. Once you do have all of that sorted, you can see the preview right here in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Okay, bear with me, but I keep finding new things. I swear this was not here before. It's like it just literally loaded when I updated the product listing. But anyway, bro, what are you talking about, man? You can add up to 20 different product tags for your product. So you want to make sure you do relevant product tags. It's almost like a Facebook marketplace SEO or search engine optimization. I personally also chose the option where I'm going to hide my listing from friends. Again, that's just a personal preference. So that's totally up to you. Afterwards, you will be presented with this case where it will show your location delivery method in which you want to do shipping only since we are drop shipping this to your potential customer. And last but not least for shipping rate, it is totally up to you. It's the holidays. I'm feeling nice. So I did shipping rate zero dollars, but I think people will pay easily five, six, seven, or even eight bucks for a product like this. So that is entirely up to you. And over here on the bottom, it says how much you'll make from this order. Obviously we will make $85 since we are not doing anything for shipping. Press next. If you're in any Facebook groups, you can list it there as well. We only want to do marketplace and boom, publish. Cool. So our listing is finally published and it's totally up to you if you want to boost your listing or not. I personally don't. I already give enough money to Zuckerberg through Facebook ads. So now it's the waiting game. I'm going to tune back in in 24 hours to see if we got any offers, let alone any messages about the product. The next day. <sighs> So it is now the next day, but as you can see, later that same night, I actually got a message from someone. So let's check that out. So we can see there were no comments for the listing just yet, but like I said in messages, we did have a message from this one woman and it said, is the price negotiable? Ashley Moses sent you a message about your listing. Okay, so I am going to say hello. Ashley, yes, it 
is what is your best offer okay so now that's out the way so let's close it but if i actually come to my account right here and go to my listing it actually says one order waiting to be shipped oh wow okay so i think this already got sold by someone let's take a look yes okay so it is actually purchased by someone already that's awesome so now all i have to do is link my bank account and i have to basically ship it out from Walmart. Awesome. If you guys did remember from before, I did charge $0 for shipping, but quite frankly, we could have gotten away by charging a few bucks. Anywho, that is zero. Estimated sales tax is zero and total charge to buyer is $85 as there is no Facebook selling fee. That means in less than 24 hours, we made a profit of $20, which means this dropshipping challenge on Facebook Marketplace was successful. Now imagine doing this multiple times with the same item or even with other items that are in demand right now in the consumer market. Personally, I think you can make hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars per week in profit if you do it and structure it the right way. Well, what I'm going to do next is link my bank account through Facebook as it is requesting me to do so and ship this product out to this gentleman. And there you guys have it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If this video does get to at least 200 likes, I will be making a 24 hour Shopify dropshipping challenge. Therefore, make sure you guys absolutely destroyed that like button. If you do have any questions, thoughts or concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments down below because I do reply to each and every single one of them. As always, continue working hard and more importantly, keep being awesome. And until the next one, your boys out. Peace.